we're going to make some medibles. We have to take our bud and decarb it before we can do anything with it. So I have a fresh sealed container right here that we're going to weigh, but I just kind of wanted to get everybody's opinion on what they like to medicate with. Terrapin is one of my favorite. They make sour tangy. They have the best price point. Let's see if they have the best weight point. So if you're trying to weigh out your product and you don't really know if your scale's accurate and you have a nickel, there is a little trick. So if we turn on the scale right over here and you take this nickel, make sure it's zeroed out, it should weigh five grams. 4.99, I'd say that's pretty close to accurate. Let's open up this package. <laughs> if I can even get it open. Let's load it up. Three point five two. Look at her there, wagging her tail, barking at the UPS man. Pathetic. We just put it in the oven like this? No, we're gonna have to break it up a little bit. But first, we'll preheat the oven. Everybody's oven's heats are going to be a little bit different. If you know you have a really hot oven, start a lot lower. The sweet spot is between like 220 and 240. But I'm going to put it at 230 because I know my oven very well. But while that's preheating, we can just break this up with our hands. So a little bit smaller, but nothing like a grinder type small. That it will all get decarved. And we'll show you as it's cooking, because we're going to check it every five minutes. And then you'll see how it gets a little bit more brown. And unfortunately, you can't smell it through there, but we'll let you know what it smells like too. Now, that we've broken up cannabis and taken out any stems that we've found. We're going to take this tray and stick it right in here on the middle rack. And I always set the timer here for five minutes because you want to check it every five, but it's got to be at about 40 minutes. So I set another timer up here for the whole time. That way, if you forget how many five minutes it's been in there, you have your whole timer right up here. I'm just kind of stirring it around a little bit. So it's been in for 10 minutes at this point. So you just kind of mix it like this so everything gets even. I just kind of mush it up. It's not all the way dry. It still has some time. 27 minutes about. So I'm going to put this back in for another five minutes and then we'll check it again and take a picture. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to occupy your time while you're waiting for all your flour to be carved, but then you can always just space out. If you look here, 
This flower looks nice and toasted brown. Here's the stuff before we decarbed it. It's definitely much lighter. So the lighter your bud, the lighter it will be when you decarb it. But oh my gosh, it smells like toasted nuts. So that's how I know it's really ready. All right, Pennsylvania patients, let's make some Rice Krispie treats. Well, Golden Graham S'mores treats. So for this one, we're gonna take, normally you wanna do a half a stick of butter, but you really want that fat content to stick with your decarb butter, your oil. So I'm gonna put in three quarters of a stick of butter and a whole bag of marshmallows. And we're gonna put that somewhere over low because we don't want it to burn at all, but you don't want it to take forever. So just two on an electric stove and keep stirring it as it melts down. All right, as you can see, the marshmallow is about all melted. So I'm just gonna take the decarbed cannabis and we're gonna dump it right in. So you can also use like old baked bud if you wanna save all that and your tolerance is pretty low, you could just throw that in. But I'm gonna throw these nice buds in here and just mix it in. Lovely. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> Now I think the recipe calls for six cups of cereal, but I don't really do it that way. I just kind of keep pouring it in until it's all used up. So I'll kind of fill this, mix it in, and then I'll, I'll move it out of the way and try to add it in more. Here we go. If you see it's a little bit unevenly mixed here, you can just use a little bit of time while it's still soft. 
mix it around, press it down a little bit. Then we're going to melt just a little bit of chocolate and drizzle it up the top. Give it that real s'mores effect. So just let the pan cool, add a little bit of chocolate, cut it up, and then I'll show you how to use the edibles calculator. Go. Drizzling that melted chocolate over it. So that was real easy. Just some dark chocolate chips. Put them in a cup. Every 30 seconds, stir it out of the microwave. About like a minute and a half, I think it took. Oh, awesome. Wow. Doesn't that look fantastic? So here's the website that I use, howtoedibles.com, and it's real easy. So you put in how much weed you have, which we use 2 grams, how strong it is, it was 18%, and we're going to cut it into 12 portions. So 30 milligrams each dose out of 2 grams, pretty fantastic. Okay, time for a taste test. Happy baking!